Hello, hello, welcome back. If you're coming back and hello if you're new here. Um, this is I think update number five and let's just get into this. Um, I weighed in this morning at 180. Um, if you've been watching and if you remember from last week, I was actually at I believe 188 or 187. So yes, that is about seven to eight pounds in seven days. We are still trying to figure it out. No, it was Tuesday night. I uh, drank some beers, hadn't had beer in a while. I say some, it was a few. <laughs> and I got up the next morning, stepped on the scale and it said 183. And that was about four pound drop from where I had measured the previous day. And we had, I, um, I stepped on the scale, it read 183. I was like, that's not right. So I got off the scale, I let it reset, I jumped back on it, you know, stepped back on it. It's read the exact same again. I was like, what's going on? So I like moved it around because we have tile floor and I was like, well, maybe it's on a crack or maybe it's uneven. Moved it around, made sure it was even, stepped on it again, 183 again. <laughs> Lift it over, made sure nothing was like in the way of the sensors, like, you know, holding it up or something. Um, flipped it back over and 183. So, told Nat, I was like, um, something really weird happened. Plus five pounds overnight, four or five pounds overnight, don't know what happened. I had had beer the night before, a lot of water, um, good food, good dinner. Uh, we made dinner at home, I honestly don't remember what we ate. And I was like, you know, both him and I kind of thought, you know, it might be a superficial thing because I had drank the night before. Maybe I was just really dehydrated. Um, and I believe the day before I had been super busy as well. So we just kind of were like, you know what? It, it might just be superficial. So I didn't get too excited about it. Next day, I stepped on the scale. I drank beer again. 182. Uh, okay. I told Matt, I was like, um, guess what I weigh? <laughs> and it's basically been like that since then. So for the last seven days, I've been losing weight. Matt and I have kind of chalked it up to where I'm getting back into the heavy sets of the program. And so we both kind of believe quite possibly I have gained muscle and in turn that has started to rev my metabolism up. And we also believe that my carbs might be too low. When I drank the beer, which is just all carbohydrates, my body revved right back up. And I basically have been, you know, in shock that it's happening uh i just don't know i mean last night we grilled i, I had like two burgers i had a lot of beer again you know ice cream eaten lunch breakfast oatmeal protein powders worked out and i weighed in at 180 this morning <laughs> i know there's probably going to be a few things asked or thought uh, i don't feel undernourished i know that losing that much weight in such a short amount of time while being incredibly active um, because I have had the issue before uh, where I just didn't eat and drop weight like that but I've been eating um, I've been doing really really well in the gym I'm making sure to stay hydrated I don't feel weaker I don't feel malnourished I can get it together I am mentally okay so we're basically at this point where I haven't been gaining weight. I'm consistently losing it. I'm giving everything in the gym. Um, it's starting to get hard because I am on week five in a deficit and it is hot in Texas. In all honesty, I think my metabolism just revved up because of the additional carbohydrates. And I mean, I haven't put the weight back on. So we're very, very certain that this is true weight loss and not just some superficial dehydrated um, under eating scenario. So. Weird shit happens when you cut, man. Just weird. Goal progress is going pretty well in terms of uh, weight and physique. Physique is definitely popping a lot now. So, <laughs> pretty cool, especially in my legs. My legs are really leaning up, so I'm really, really excited about that. It is week five, like I said, so this now means after this week, I go back to week one and restart and go all the way through the 10 weeks. Super stoked to just get huge, and shredded and just love the crap out of the next five weeks again. I have been adding in a sixth day though um, for arms and abs. I do believe out of the last five weeks, I have hit it three weeks. Um, one week, I just don't think, I just didn't. Um, don't really know why, can't remember why. 
So, and it is the only day that I actually do an isolated ab workout, and that is cable crunches. Um, and yeah, so it's uh, it's going really well as well. <laughs> Let's see. One thing that I have had to focus on is a lot of the recovery aspect outside of the gym. I'm talking about like the mobility of it. I am starting to get, you know, achy, um, a little bit sore more just because, you know, I'm in a deficit and I'm pushing at numbers that are, like I mentioned, 95% of my PR. So that's a, that's a lot of work and that's a lot of stress on my body. So I've been making sure to, you know, work on some mobility, get the Theragun out. Uh, my foam roller, you know, just do some exercises. When I'm doing, you know, any kind of cardio, I try to make it like an active recovery cardio. Um, so something that I don't have to recover from. Also to help the nutrients kind of get over all into my um, muscles, because if you work out and then you just sit there, your blood's not pumping the nutrients that your muscles need to recover as quickly as your muscles would like it. So. After a meal, after eating, I, I try to walk around a bit, even if that's just, you know, cleaning up or chasing Aria or trying to just move um, to, A, get that digestion started and to make sure that my muscles have the fuel they need to recover. Typically with nutrition, Matt and I are really now just trying to hone in on exactly what we need. Um, I go back to contract August 8th. Really just trying to hone in on that so that Meal prep is super, super easy. Um, you know, and Aria's gonna be back in daycare, so mornings are gonna be a little bit more hectic, and so a lot of it is honing in for me, because Matt does work permanently from home now. So it, even if him working from home, though, he still has to make sure that his stuff is prepped. That's really it. Um, mentally, I am good. I'm, like I said, I'm really, really stoked to get these five weeks restarted, finish out this fifth week, get it started again. It's also giving me a really good focus to kind of help with lessening the anxiety of having to go back on contract and having to go back into buildings that are not my home. Being able to know that my fitness is here to keep me healthy and to give me an outlet for when I do get really anxious or um, just anything. I actually have started looking forward to these updates because I get so excited about, you know, having to think back like, well, what did happen in the past week? And it's just, no matter how bad the past week may have been, coming and doing the updates I have to think like, well, what, what was good about it? And just, there's so much more good going on um, that when you reflect, you see it all, but in the moment you are blind to it. So mentally I'm doing great. <laughs> just stressed about going back to work, but that's that is really all though for this number five update. As usual, make sure to go check out any other videos. If this is the first video you're seeing of me, make sure to go check back on the other four updates, I believe well as Matt, if you aren't aware, he recently got a quad contusion and he is on week two, entering into the third week of recovery. So if you're kind of wondering what it's like to have to have a massive injury, but still try to make progress, do go check him out. He is um, giving a lot of great advice about, you know, not letting it get you down and just pivoting, not stopping. And also go check out anything else. We upload about three times a week. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to tell your friends about it, and comment below if you have anything to say. And uh, see you next time.